Rise and shine, you sleepy layabouts. Hey, Tomcat. We've got a whole crop of things to do and not a lot of time to get them done. Wait, how did you... No, she's a hacker. That's how she got in. <sighs> well, I guess it doesn't hurt to ask it. Wait, how did you get into my apartment? Hardly had to blink to crack your door. Yeah, remember what Turing said about my lock? Super outdated or something? Did you know that it's just a knockoff of the Secugate M stroke 14723 stroke B? Yeah! Why'd you make the entry code the birthday of your first dog anyway? <laughs> oh my god, it's exact same as Turing. That's what I asked! <laughs> Huh. Anyhow, I felt a little silly when I realized your window was propped open and I could have just used that. <laughs> huh. Deja vu! Y'all should be more careful about that. Though, I can't blame you much. The climate control in here seems a bit lacking in the stamina department. Everything in my apartment is lacking, if you haven't noticed yet. I get it, my home sucks. Can we get back on track? <laughs> no worries, doll. What have you learned from the files we sent you? Nothing all that new, to be honest. All the files we got from that Vincent fellow just covered what we already knew in greater detail. There is one thing that stands out, though. At least from what I've read so far. Oh? Hmm? Yeah. See... Hayden's long-term goal wasn't to make a machine intelligence per se, right? Right. Don't take it the wrong way, Turin. You might even already be aware of this after talking to folks involved in your creation. Mm hmm, Melody told us already. Hayden wanted to make a machine system that could contain human-like intelligence. And even just from his notes, it, oh, his programming work is, well, it's something else. Elegant. Artful. I'm just a kid banging on pots and pans compared to him. Looking at his notes about my interfacing between your AI core and the Lips OS, I barely managed to duct tape the two together at a level he'd approve of. Hmm. He's a very smart fella. That's why he's been hired at Parallax. But I think I'm getting off track here. What I'm trying to say is, he didn't write your code turn. No one did. What? Turing wrote himself? Hayden wrote a program that automatically generates a new machine intelligence based off of the hardware profiles the system is installed on. What? Melody mentioned something about that. What does that mean? It means you don't have to be alone, Turing. We can get... A friend for you. Multiple friends. Exactly. Assuming we can get our hands on Turn's original source code, we could generate new machine intelligences as we please. That's pretty dangerous, though. I mean, I feel like that presents a similar kind of danger the whole Big Blue thing does. You wouldn't be the only one anymore, Turin. There's gonna be a lot of legislation regarding that. Oh... I... okay? Hmm, he's not particularly pleased, which is normal. I, I guess it kind of feels like if you were an only child the whole time and people were pouring you love and support. But now you're being told that you're gonna have siblings and a lot of them, so... Yeah. I mean, you're happy on one end, but you're not all happy. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. I hardly know what to say. But once you consider the stuff I found in the research, it gets a damn sight more complicated. Stuff about Big Blue and Parallax's planned launch. Vincent speculated that Hayden's research into me would have interfered with the launch. And that's why they... Mm, turn. That's why someone had him killed. The potential for wrongdoing with an AI like Big Blue is almost beyond belief. 
Even if I don't go into all the crooked shit the people running Parallax could pull off with it. I mean, you're built different, Turin. Your personality profile would degrade pretty quickly outside your original hardware, so we don't gotta worry too much about you going haywire, right? But Big Blue ain't got that limitation. If it decides to go off the rails, we're done. Well, we'd be screwed faster than a rabbit in spring. Good and proper. How likely is that? I'd say it's inevitable. Guaranteed. In fact, in a sense, it's already happened. Hmm. What? It's what's been chasing us this whole time. Their prototype build. Baby Blue? I'm almost certain it's loose on the mesh. Yup. The research notes on the project show, clearly and with certainty, that the test AI was shut down once it tried fiddling with the data on the mesh net in the hope that it would increase its chances of survival. I guess it didn't think that doing scary shit like that would get it turned off. But that was almost a year ago. Vincent told us about all of this, too. Well, I think Baby Blue is the bugger that was changing all those articles on the mesh to be pro-parallax or at least anti-human revolution. That's a scary thought, not just the change itself, but the fact that it could turn itself back on. Do you think Baby Blue had anything to do with the attacks on Nanya, Shitaro, Charlie, and Zin? <sighs> I don't know. We can't rightly rule it out. It might have found an agent in the real world to keep its existence secret, but I doubt it. You know, I'm a little bit worried about the name Baby Blue, because you know who else has been referred to as Blue throughout this entire journey? Turing. And we don't know too much about Turing, about what he really is, and that worries me a little bit. Killing people is messy as hell, and it runs against its apparent goal of convincing the public that AI ain't scary. I think we have a third party trying to clean it all up. Oh. And my money is on someone from Parallax. Whoever took out Hayden, I'll bet they're in full damage control mode now. We already know they don't care who gets hurt. How does this tie back to Turing? I think we gotta do something to stop the launch of Big Blue. It's too dangerous! I don't want a company like Parallax in sole control of the most powerful machine intelligence on the planet. Do you? No, I... I can't believe they can actually launch this without the government being alarmed about it, though. People would be all up in arms immediately. If we can get Hayden's original source code for Turin and upload it onto the mesh through Parallax's server core, we can turn every single ROM into a sapient individual. That's also a pretty dangerous idea. Whoa. That'll stop Big Blue from being able to become the monolithic threat we're scared of. Oh, but I feel like that would make us scared for another reason. We could also upload a patch for every ROM to prevent Big Blue's reach from using their resources. Without the ability to control all ROMs, Big Blue loses its ultimate power. And I wouldn't be alone anymore. There would be millions. Hundreds of millions of ROMs just like me. Well, you're cutting edge of ROM tech, Turin. Most of today's ROMs wouldn't be quite as smart or capable, but if I do it right, the code should propagate across the mesh to all future ROM activations. You know, I, I wonder a little bit, because I think this is dangerous, right? But would that be considered kind of speciesist almost? Because Turing, for all intents and purposes, if we didn't know he was an AI, if we didn't know he was a robot, he's basically like a human, right? So, 
the fact that I think it's dangerous, it's like me not wanting new humans to be born. Like, does that make sense? I don't know, it might be a little bit species as me. <laughs> It'll be a self-sustaining thing. It's like I want humans to be on top all the time and I don't want new robots to come out or something. You'll be in good company soon enough. It's a big decision. We're talking about the metaphorical singularity. Is that really a decision we can make? The point of no return. Is it okay for us to make this decision for the entire world? I don't think so. We don't have any other choice. Oh, come on, that's not true. This is gonna happen, one way or another. The authorities, man, the authorities. Either Parallax gets to control the debut of worldwide machine intelligence, or we let the ROMs control themselves. What do you think? This is... this is scary. I don't know. I don't think it's up to Turing either. I don't know about this, because it really is a big decision, but... Oh, but if the alternative is equally bad. What does that mean, though? Only Turing knows if the world is ready? This is a bad idea. We can't make this decision. And not, like, within five minutes, either. We gotta talk about this even more. What do you want to do, then? Write an article and hope that the government jumps in to stop them? Try to drum up a public outcry and get the project canned? Big Blue could launch as soon as Christmas Day. Well, I'm not Superman, Tomcat. I'm Clark Kent. <sighs> huh? <laughs> I'm a writer, and I can shine a light on this for the world to see. You can't be serious. <gasps> She's pissed, because I'm, I'm being a little bit indecisive right now, I guess. You forget about all the folks that have already died. All of them, either inside or connected to the press. No, I didn't forget about them, but... Th we're talking about the entire world here. You really want to sleep with one eye open for the rest of your life. This is a matter of life or death now. We need to be careful. Yeah! What What about making this plan? What about executing this plan as being careful? I don't think anything about executing this plan is being careful. They want to play things quiet, and so can we. And I know how to. Oh, this is a really big decision. But she is right, though. Like, if we don't do anything... Big Blue? Oh, this is too scary. Screw it. I'll take a chance. You haven't steered us wrong yet, Tomcat. Maybe you're right. I can do this. Someone's gotta look after you. Well, whether the world is ready for AI or not... We're here to stay. Well, yeah, I guess ever since Turing, the very first sapient AI came out, that was already an inevitability. I might as well throw my chips in for my own side. Let's do this! Turing is nice, but not every AI is gonna be nice. On our terms, not theirs. Well, I suppose that's better than on their terms. Yes. <laughs> I love nothing more than a little anarchy. <laughs> it does have a certain poetic justice, does it not? Parallax removed Hayden to protect their project from his creation, and now I, his creation, will bring their project down. Just for the truth. Perhaps after all ROMs are sapient, I will be able to convince them to cut off Parallax's access to the mesh as a data collection tool entirely. Paying them back double indeed. Every one of those 
ROMs are gonna have their own personality and motivations. I don't know if you can do anything, Turing. I like the way you think, Turin. First things first, we need to get our hands on Turin's source code. The research notes we've gotten so far are helpful, and it's given me an idea how to spread a little bit of Turin all over the place, but they don't actually have Hayden's programs. I can't replicate them myself, so we'll have to steal them. Thankfully, we have the best hacker in Neo SF right here. A little bit of bootlicking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you make me blush now. We can get the source code from one of Parallax's secondary data centers. It's probably stored in a couple of different places, but I already have one in mind. I've done a little groundwork already, but I'm gonna need physical access to do my thing. <sighs> I suppose that's us. <laughs> Fine. We can do that for you. You're a peach, hon. I've got a couple of ideas on how to get y'all in, but I think we're gonna need to mostly play it by ear. We should do it soon, though. First thing this morning. Guard shift don't change until 8 when the office opens, so they'll be sleepy and distracted. Once y'all have done that, I think I can incorporate the code into a custom firmware update that'll wake any ROM it's installed on. I'll have to upload it, physically, to Parallax's main server farm. Oh my god. And that's on Treasure Island. Oh. From there, the ROMs will install like a normal patch from the company. So don't set anything on fire right away, you hear? It'll be a pain to get into the main complex otherwise. That sounds like a workable plan. I hope you don't mind if I take a short walk, Tomcat. I know I gave the go-ahead on this, but I still need to think a few things through for myself. Sure thing, doll. I'll hash out a rough plan by the time you get back. Call us if you need anything. Thank you. I won't be long. Wow, this whole thing is getting a lot more macro. Well, I... Uh guess I should say thanks for helping out. But I... kinda need to get something off my chest. What? I'm actually glad Turin went out. They're a bit naive, and I'm not sure they'd really understand. There's enough shit to worry about without me piling more on top. <sighs> I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I guess at the beginning. Take your time. The beginning? Yeah, okay. So, the truth is, I'm not from North Carolina. I only visited my gramps there. I'm California born and raised. Napa Valley. Over the years, it's kind of grown into a community of wealthy old folk who like things and people who don't change. My parents were no exception, and I was a little too different for their tastes. It was hard growing up with them. They never gave me too much hell, but things were tense, especially after my sister Catherine moved out. Eventually, she was set up securely in Neo SF, and she offered to let me live with her until I got out of school. I think my parents were a little relieved to see me out. I was ecstatic to be free of them. I worshipped the ground my sister walked on. And that was before I found out what she did for a living. She was flashy and colorful and a whirlwind of activity. And she was a brilliant hacker. Mm. She was Tomcat. Oh. She let me learn at her feet and once I was good enough, folded me into her little coup of crackers hell-bent on changing the world. <laughs> She's the one who orchestrated the original hack on Parallax, exposing to the world the holes in their original MeshNet security. I was just along for the ride. She always knew she would get caught, though. How could she not? Parallax was one big Goliath, and she flinged a stone square in their face. She was looking at serious jail time, 
and willing to eat it to do what we all thought was right. But, but it just wasn't right. It wasn't fair for her to throw her laugh away, and I couldn't let her. She was always better at software than hardware, so I rigged all of our computers to self-destruct. When the feds showed up at our door, all of our server farms were already up in smoke. I gave them quite a fireworks show. Before she could stop me, I turned myself in as Tom Ketton took credit for the whole job. Hmm. She tried to talk me out of it, but without the physical evidence, they couldn't prove she had anything to do with it. It's all right, though. It was for the best. I figured I'd just get a year of juvie. I'd be back out in no time. No big deal, right? Especially when compared to the time that she'd have been jailed for as an adult. Well, this raises some questions then. Because where is she? And are you going to be able to hack for us? And so, I waited patiently. I cooked up so many ideas on how I was going to make it up to her. I knew she must have blamed herself. But before I ever got out... Oh no. There was an accident. An auto cab hit my sister. She died on impact. And that was it. It's hard. Blaming yourself when things go wrong because you did something right? I took her sentence so that she could have a laugh, and instead, not being in jail killed her. God, if I had just let her take the blame, I can't stop thinking about how she'd still be here. And no matter what I told myself, in my heart, I couldn't believe it was just an accident. Do you know how rare it is for those things to hit a human? Someone knew who she was. Someone knew what she did, and someone wanted to make sure she would never do it again. It's very reminiscent of how we saw Nanya get hit by the truck. So I became Tomcat. I've spent years trying to find information inside Parallax to prove someone inside the company called a hit on my sister. Failing that, I've been trying to find a way to bring them down the way she always wanted. Catherine was... <laughs> If you had met her, just for a moment, you would understand. She was everything I could ever want to be. But over time, that little bot has grown on me. Eh, maybe you have too. Hmm. I don't really know what to choose. Do you honestly think we're still on the right course? I do. The threat of Big Blue is real, and we're the only ones who can do something about it. It's bigger than me and my vendetta. I just wanted to get that all off my chest. My sister, she'd smack me if she knew I've been holding this grudge. I'm trying to learn to forgive myself. Still. I won't let her go unavenged. We're so close to bringing them all to justice. I just... I know she'd be proud. I know if she were here, she'd be right next to us, helping until the end. I've been carrying all this for so long, and... I finally feel like I'm getting somewhere. Thanks for hearing me out. I hope we can really do this. Oh, I, I kind of don't like that you have a personal component to helping us doing this, because that adds a lot of different layers of emotions and all. Friends, I've returned. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm ready. Good. We've wasted enough time already. I've marked the location of the data center on your map. Sounds good to me. You'll have to go in and get the source code mostly on your own, but I'll load on some programs that'll give you an edge. We'll do our best, Tomcat. But what happened to your accent? <laughs> uh, oh, don't you worry about that. It comes and goes like a bag of bon kitty. 
Now get going, you two. I have lots of code to write, and you have a lot of data to download. Stay in touch. Of course, Tomcat. Thank you again. Don't worry about it, hon. We've all been hurt by Parallax. It's about time we hurt him back. Good luck. Okay, this looks like it might be the final push. Oh, man. Hey, this place again. Oh, we're back here again. Who knew a Parallax data center operated on the same KCOB coalition block as Augmented Eye all along? I'm certain it's all a coincidence, but it's unsettling being back here. It's the nasty kind of coincidence that makes you look for plots where there are none. The building we're looking for is over there, to the left. We should try to finesse our way in. We don't want to alert Parallax to our actions before we make our main assault on their server complex. Sounds good to me. But I do want to check out... Oh, they repaired it already. Can we... Do you think we can go in? You don't need to go back anymore. Okay. Maintenance person. He's pretty idle for someone that is probably on the clock. Aren't we all? A grungy maintenance truck is parked out in front of the building. From the looks of it, its cluttered insides contain a solution to any possible breakdown or malfunction. Lots of tools. That's a, that's a good sign. Should we talk to this guy? I wish I actually had something to work on right now. But it is what it is. Ah, you have nothing to do. Wonder if I can get something from the van. We don't need to mess with that. Are you sure? You want to talk to it? You start with a nice enough discussion, but soon the truck won't stop asking if it looks ugly in this paint color, and if you can maybe get it an oil change and a new tire, and have you ever heard of window cleaner? This isn't a maintenance truck. It's a high maintenance truck. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Uh, sorry, this building isn't open to the public. If you're looking for the offices where we hold interviews, that's over on Bush and Leavenworth. But you may want to wait till after the holidays. I don't think anyone's around till 2065. Ooh. Uh, well, let's... let's go. Hmm, we need some way past that receptionist. Perhaps we can make ourselves appear to be here on more official business somehow. Like we're on duty. The maintenance. No one ever tries to stop you if you look like you belong. That's true. That's very true. So the next time you want to, like, I don't know, steal some cash from a bank? <laughs> Dress up as a teller or something. I don't know. Um, how do you think we can get this guy's clothing, though? I service all the electrical work on this entire block. And... Can I get something here? Hmm. Oh, there's a maintenance uniform. Good thinking. If you were wearing that... Hey! What do you think you're doing? Get out of there. Yep. E sorry, mister. Oh, drat. We'll have to find a way to distract him or we'll never get our disguise. I hate to cause civil disorder again, but he doesn't seem to be too occupied with fixing anything. Maybe we should find a way to keep his hands busy? Break a window or something. Let's look around. Um, you think we can break something here, maybe? I don't know. How do we? Do we have a two? Oh, we have a pistol, but this seems so. Okay, that works. Yikes! That was flashier than I expected. <laughs> Hurry! We don't want to be caught standing here. I didn't think that would work. But it did. Ooh. They should let us right past now. Great idea. I'm glad I didn't need to use that gun on somebody oh, living. Grab that clipboard. The very symbol of bureaucratic authority. 
Where, where, where? Do you have a clipboard with you? He's busy now after a little guidance. Which clipboard? Clipboard got, just cuz. I don't see anything else useful we can use in there, unless you want to repair some monitors. <laughs> I'm fine. Let's go. Hey, what's going on outside? I thought I heard a bang. Just another thing I have to fix. Uh, I'm, I don't want to lie, because what if it's a it's not a transformer? Just another thing I have to fix. Huh? Yeah, okay. Are you new? I'm not sure I've seen you around here before. No, you haven't seen me 30 seconds ago. Of course not. Yeah, I just got hired. Well, I'll need to see your badge. This is a secure building. Oh. Okay. It's in the truck. I need to check the equipment for damage now. <laughs> Wait, do I have credentials? If I do, I could just show it. What? That clearly isn't you in that picture. Oh, shoot. You aren't supposed to be here, are you? Uh -oh. Stay right there and don't move. Quick, and do something! Ah! I'm sick of having to deal with so many disagreeable people just to get around. Oh, God, I wish I didn't have to shoot that guy. Why is everything so hard? We aren't supposed to use the electro pistol so frivolously. Do you also feel that our inhibitions are decreasing the longer we push forth? Yeah, because we're getting more and more tired of everything. Anyway, this is not good. Someone will notice they're knocked out soon. We'll have to hurry now. Okay. He's just knocked out, right? He's not dead. Let's get in there. Well, we progressed beyond the receptionist, but we don't have the credentials to bypass this door. Let me take a look. Hmm, this is an Insec Model 1385 automatic security and fire door. Voice controls, biometric scanning, and remote user access. I would have went with the 1355, no voice controls, but Turn! still a nice unit. I think I can bypass this. Maybe not as easily as your apartment door, Turn! but easily enough. God damn it, hurry up. There, we're in. The clock's ticking. I'm glad you realized. We should be able to use one of the terminals here, and I'll be able to crack the local security myself. However, I need the password to get on the network and find where the source code lies. It's their dog's first birthday! According to anecdotal evidence on the mesh, humans do have difficulty remembering their passwords and often place reminders for themselves. Sticky note. Maybe there's a clue somewhere nearby. Sticky note. Oh, what the hell? It's right here! There it is. Good <laughs> eye! Hm, I thought that would have been harder. That's so... They freaking put it on the monitor. Oh, oh lord. That's a secure password, but not secure enough. It's asking for the password. What? I gotta do it? The password, according to the screen across the room, is... Why do I have to do it myself? This is weird. Let me, let me write this down. Okay, hang on, hang on. Why is it making me do it? This doesn't really make sense to me. I guess it'll make sense in due time. A, two, three, N, eight, seven, one, six, H, four. Go ahead and plug it in. Now I can feel like a super hacker. A, 23, N, 87, one, six, H4. That's it. Are we in? We're in. Woo! Tomcat gave me an icebreaker program that will keep the VIs off of us while we search. 
I've had plenty of time to go over Hayden's data cache files, so I have a good idea of what I'm looking for. But we've probably attracted some attention already. Yeah, I guess, um, what could have happened just now is that I could have typed it wrong and then maybe we'll get booted out faster. I'll go as fast as I can. Okay, I managed to get all the surface level data. Sh shoot! What? The VI stopped me halfway in. We've been noticed, but not caught. All right. Although I was able to get a decent chunk of my source code, there's still a lot of it that's behind some heavy security. The VIs want authentication with some sort of glyph? Let me load it up. Oh my god! Key ID, I see. It wants us to combine four different glyphs to create a full image. What kind of image? I have to keep the icebreaker going so we don't get discovered. You'll have to handle this part. Okay, I'm trying to look at this right now, but what kind of image am I trying to create? Just study the prompt glyph that appears on the right side and click the correct squares to recreate it with all four parts. Okay. It looks like there's five locks we need to break through within 180 seconds. Oh my god! Oh, oh, maybe this is a good time to save? <laughs> I don't think I'll like reload or anything if I mess up, but it's still a good time to save. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. 180 seconds, that's three minutes. This is our one chance to capture my full source code. This is make or break it. Okay. I believe in you. It's your time to shine. It's okay. Three minutes? I got more than 30 seconds for each puzzle. I'm good. Ready? I'm starting it. Here we go. What the hell? Is it this one? And then... Crap. This one? This one? This one? Come yes! On. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Oh, what else am I looking for here? Uh-oh, I don't see the last one. Yes! We got this, let's go! Um... Man! You can do it! I know you can! I'm on fire! Usually I'm pretty bad at these types of puzzles, but I'm doing okay, surprisingly. Uh, what is the last one? I don't know what the last one is. Okay, let me calm down. Big circle. So close, hurry! 100 seconds, we got this. Okay, we got the outer frame, the diagonal, the circle, and this. You did it! Woo! Here's all of Hayden's source files for my code. And done downloading. Let's get out of here before someone notices us. Let's go! We've made it! I enjoy those little puzzles. I like that. Let me call Tomcat and let them know we got the code. Hey, Tarn, did you get everything? We did. I'm transmitting the files to you now. Great. I can work with this. I should be able to whip up a mass AI awakening easily enough. It's gonna take me a little time though, so you should spend the next few hours preparing to head into the Parallax Server Core on Treasure Island. That should be all done before nightfall. Oh god. I don't relish the idea of going in on this alone. Perhaps we could spend this time to gather together our allies, see if they're willing to take such a leap of faith with us. As fun as it would be watching you go full Yakino on them, turn. I, I agree. 
maybe you could whip up some kind of distraction for the authorities to focus on? Buy you some time? It's settled then. Shoot up more windows. We'll go talk to Chad, Oliver, and Jess now. I'm sure we could have them all fake a human revolution protest turned riot. The police are watching those demonstrations like hawks. Wait, what? You're not gonna get Jess to go do a human revolution thing. She's a hybrid. That should keep everyone busy enough and give us cover so we can do whatever we need to do. My first instinct is to ask Detective Rivers as well, but I do not want to force her into an untenable conflict of interest. I'll run some more simulations to see if we should talk to anyone else. Sounds like you have it under control. Once you've gotten everyone together, head to the old storm drain entrance near the Parallax building. I've been studying the plans between waiting for code to compile, and it looks like the best way past the exterior security measures is through there. You'd have to be a darn fool to try and wade through the water, but security is lighter than... Uh, uh, hmm. <laughs> it, it's light. <laughs> Don't got a nice metaphor for this this time? I'm not sure I can play the fool, but I have a friend here for whom stubbornness is a job skill. Me? We'll call you when we're on site. Good. Tomcat out. I'll message ahead to everyone and mark their current locations on your map. Start thinking about who our best allies have been and how we might convince them to help. Okay. Um, uh, my best allies? <laughs> it's not Jess. <laughs> um, I don't know. This guy's still fixing this here. The screen is not broken, apparently, according to this description. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Well, let's go to Chad and Ollie first. They've always been nice to us. Hey guys. How's it sinking? <laughs> yes. How are you? <laughs> Busy. We were hoping we could enlist your aid again. Y'all need some more fake IDs or something? Or maybe some third-hand VR dramas? No, we need something that you are actually very good at doing, causing some riots. Third hand? <laughs> Don't ask. Like, you know, guy I know found them when they fell off the back of a truck. <laughs> I thought VR dramas were distributed primarily over the mesh. Ignore him. I made the mistake of convincing him to watch some turn-of-the-century mobster movies with me. I regretted it instantly. Hey, I really like that one with the dude from Montana in it. <sighs> Whatever. So what'd you jerks need? Since apparently my VR dramas ain't good enough. Well, we're going to be engaging in some more activity of dubious legality. Which you're very good at, I might add. We were wondering if you wouldn't mind helping create a distraction to keep the police out of the way. Y'all gonna go hit those parallax bastards that did your dad in? Yes, actually, that was surprisingly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> He's smarter than he pretends to be. Do you have a plan in mind already? Kind of. <laughs> no, we want to make it explicit. Um, just need you to make some noise, nothing too dangerous. But Danger is my middle name. Are you sure it's not Starfucker? No, it's not. It's Francis. <laughs> Chad Francis? Shut up, Oliver! We just need you to gather a bunch of, um, like-minded individuals. <laughs> Bring them to Market and Powell. We want you to start a fake riot with all the other folks we gather, so the police will mobilize there. Um, as much as we'd like to. We'll do it! 
You've done all right by us. I'm even almost sorry we sprayed up that dude's apartment. Just almost. I know we're all squared up already, but Bitbrain here is good people. So we'll call this a freebie, yeah? Between friends. Bitbrain. I got some dudes I can call. They like to party hard too. We'll show those coppers how we do it in the OSF. Okay, thank you then. Thank you, Starfucker. <laughs> hey, you called me it. Cool. <laughs> I guess we're in. <laughs> Turin just swore. Hopefully we'll be able to stay out of juvie. We need a little more time to make the calls. I'll message you when we're ready to move. Hey! You need a call sign, Oliver! Can't do spy shit like this without a good name! Give him one. Not a bad idea. What about... Megane-kun? <laughs> Megane is the Japanese word for glasses. Oh, man. Not more anime crap. <laughs> It's not any worse than Starfucker. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Only cuz you ain't a star yet. Chad! We haven't even... <laughs> <laughs> they like each other, huh? It's too much information. <clears throat> we'll be off to make those calls now. Right, Chad? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure, Ollie. Whatever you say. Mm -hmm. We'll be in touch. Smell you later! Well, on to the next thing, I guess. I do have to say, I can't tell if the mating rituals of human teenagers are endearing or disgusting. <laughs> They're good kids. Despite our first impressions, I'll agree with you. I hope we haven't forced them into a bad situation. That aside, let's get going. We shouldn't keep just waiting any longer. Assuming you like your limbs in their current configuration. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was a bold line. They made Turing swear though. That was not cool. Okay, Jess at the park. Oh. What is going on? Hi, Lexi. Detective Rivers, who we weren't expecting. Yeah, I bet you weren't. <sighs> Just cut the crap, please. Do you even realize how big of a hornet's nest you kicked when you knocked over that data center? How do you know it's me? I'm assuming that was you, yeah? My superior came and yanked me away from all my work on Hayden as soon as we got the call. Told me it was politically unwise to keep digging. That's bullshit doublespeak, meaning ass covering for the corporate overlords. So now I'm officially grounded and I know there's something you're not telling me. Don't try to hide it. I probably could have been more useful all along if you'd loop me in. Mm. You're... I want you to be looped in, but you're the police. Give it to her straight, Turing. We're sorry for keeping you in the dark. We found out that Hayden has been killed by someone inside Parallax, and we are now on the move to stop them from doing worse. You are a great summarizer. Wait, what? I, I was hoping you were about to tell me that all this was just some ruse to win yourself a Pulitzer. I think we've had this before, right? Like a more... Ah. Oh. I guess at this point it is about justice now. This is about justice, not profit. You said this was about finding the truth. I did, I did, it was. But also justice. Oh, uh, well, oh, I don't know. 
And I'm betting that raiding the data center was only step one in your two-step plan to really get in trouble, yeah? It was about finding the truth until the truth turned out to be scary. The fact that the whole baby blue, big blue thing, because we didn't know that when we were talking about that before, okay, Turing? I wasn't lying to you. All right then. I'm in. <laughs> you could lose your badge. Someone has to keep you from getting yourself killed. Your sister would never forgive me. And we just started talking again. Ooh. Besides, I'm occasionally fond of you as well. Occasionally? Well, I'm occasionally thankful of you being fond of me as well. Thank you. So, screw the badge. I'm tired of being a corporate pawn shoved around by whomever has the deepest pockets. I got into this job to help people, and I've done too damn little of that lately. I. Am. In. Just like that? Just like that. What's the plan? Parallax got rid of Hayden because he was about to publish his research on me. They're about to launch the first independent machine intelligence as a data collection agent on the mesh. They're worried that Congress will shut them down if they find out how powerful it is. I'm guessing we're a little more worried that they won't. That's some Big Brother stuff right there. Precisely. With the data we stole, we should be able to shut down the program from inside Parallax's main server center. It's messier than that, but that's the gist of it. That's our next target. I'm not sure where I can help exactly. Maybe keep some heat off of you while you do whatever it is. I'm certain your assistance will prove invaluable. Okay. Message me when and where to meet up. Oh, by the way, call your sister. She misses you. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Lexi. Apparently we don't get along. Yeah, seeing your ugly mug pushed me into calling her, so it's only fair. <laughs> Maybe things will be different this time. That's enough talking. I'm heading back to the station to keep an eye on things. See you when it's time. And sorry about your friend Hayden. We're gonna finish this. Bye, Detective Rivers. One more ally on our side. Mm-hmm. What about Jess, though? Jess should be here. Yes, she is. It's Jess. She's helped up a couple of times already. Is she willing to help out again? Dear me. <laughs> we know. Hmm. Go ahead then. We were hoping. No per. No freaking animal jokes, okay? We were hoping to use your hybrid contacts for something. Sorry. You want to use my friends? I'm sorry, we're not objects to be used. Okay, both of those were landmines waiting to be stepped on because the other one had the cat joke and this one had the use thing. Oh my god, they didn't give me a choice there. Hey, Bubblehead, you're not as chatty. Give me the whole situation in three sentences or less. Go. Um, Parallax is launching a new powerful machine intelligence onto the mesh. We want to stop it. We need you to set up a fake riot with some teenagers connected to the human revolution so we can break into Parallax without getting arrested. And why exactly should I risk my people and career for this? Our entire movement. First, you want me to steal a car. Now incite riots? What kind of tech could be worth my people's lives? Put two and two together, Jess. If people get scared of robots, who will they get scared of next? Who are they already scared of, I would argue? You already know the general public doesn't really think of hybrids as human. They'll lock down rights of all people they fear. Hybrids will become enemies of the state. Shit. 
Things could get worse than they are, Jess. Way worse. Oh, cut the bullshit. I can't stomach another moment of your insincerity. I will literally puke. I, uh, Jess is really unpleasant to talk to. So, hypothetically, what exactly would you have me do? We need you to call in some help from your contacts and have them stir up trouble with a human revolution. We'll ensure our contacts inside the HR will be ready to escalate the protests, at least enough to draw an increased police presence. That should buy us the breathing room we need. Nothing too wild, but enough to draw away their attention. I figured it would be something like that. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, let me make some calls. Let's get this straight, though. I'm doing this for me and my people. I'm putting my reputation and career on the line here. You are asking me to start shit with the police. If you screw me on this, I will make you regret it. And at the moment you decided to help me, it becomes your decision, right? You can't blame me for everything that's gone wrong in your entire life. I assure you, Ms. Mies, we will not screw you. I didn't even know her last name was Mies. Although, to be fair, I'm not entirely sure what that means. Right. I was tired of playing the public relations game with those human revolution assholes anyway. <sighs> Time to crack some skulls. You can't say that and then blame me if anything goes wrong. Uh, maybe not that much violence. Holy shit. Did you not get the understanding hyperbole chip or whatever? <laughs> I need to make some calls. Later. Oh, good call on keeping her in the dark about the real plan. You're right about that. I have a feeling she's going to be mighty ticked about having thousands of machine intelligences running around instead of just one. Oh yeah, we never told her about that part. Does she really think I'm not too chatty? <clears throat> that aside, let's get going. There's one more person I think we should talk to, Wellens. Dr. Fairlight could perhaps give us vital information on how to get into the server complex. I know he was just a board member, but I have a feeling he's been keeping a keen eye on Parallax since he was ousted. Lexi, Jess, and Chad and Oliver may be able to buy us cover, but Fairlight could get us our way in. I'm not sure I trust him. I don't either, but I'm not sure we have any other choice. Out of everyone that's assisted us so far, I trust him the least. He has an unclear ulterior motive, and I'm only guessing that it lines up with our own. It's a risk talking to him, but it's a calculated one. We should at least sound him out, if possible. We might be able to get a read on if he's telling the truth or not. He should still be at the hospital, if my previous correspondences with him are accurate. What about Melody? She says she didn't want visitors, but I'm sure she didn't really mean that. Especially if you really, really need the help. Hey, this guy's still here. Oh, hey. Funny seeing you two here. How is it funny? This is where we met the first time. What can I help with today? There have been developments that we need to let Dr. Fairlight know about. Uh, could you show us to him? Uh, no can do, I'm afraid. Fairlight is speaking at this really important holiday benefit, and he'll have my ass for dinner if I interrupt him for anything. And I mean anything. So, is this something I might help with? Fairlight has kept me fairly up to speed on your situation. Um, not sure about this at all. This guy seems nice, but I don't know about telling more and more people about this.
But if we tell this guy, it means that we don't have to tell Fairlight, which might be a plus. <laughs> I'm not too sure. I think I'll pass. We'll pass. It's pretty confidential. Look, most of the old man's work is confidential. You think I just do his laundry? This high up in the tech sector, secrets can earn you millions. But hey, if you don't trust me, that's your loss. Sure. Ugh, we don't have time for this. Come on. We really should tell Fairlight directly. Well, you could wait for the event to finish, but those usually go until well past midnight. I'm honestly surprised the old man can manage them these days. We don't have that kind of time. That's fine then, we'll forget about him. Uh, then... <gasps> oh, okay, they kind of boxed me in here. They, I have to tell him. Hmm. Okay, we'll tell you. Great, I'm happy to listen. <laughs> I'm not happy to tell you. We recently discovered that Hayden might have been removed because he was about to interfere with a secret project Parallax is launching. It's probably where Fairlight is right now. He's probably speaking about Baby Blue or whatever. Big Blue. They've developed a networked machine intelligence that they're about to release onto the mesh. We were hoping that Dr. Fairlight could get us a way in so that we can shut it down. I cannot overstate the danger of Parallax having control of this entity! Phew, you weren't kidding, were you? The comment from that kind of thing would be a scummy marketer's wet dream. Not to mention all the possible applications to the CIA. Comment? So now will you call Dr. Fairlight? Actually, it goes a bit above and beyond that. I don't think I can tell Yannick about this. What? Why not? Look, you know, and I know, that the old man's itching to get back at the helm of Parallax. He plays a good game of ceremonial ribbon cutting, but he's been sniffing around for a way to get back at the board ever since he was outed. Thankfully, this could play right into his hands, but he's gotta have plausible deniability. If there's even a whiff that he orchestrated this, he'll be done for. It's a win-win for all of us, right? Mm-hmm. This is all very clandestine. What do you suggest? Yannick pays me so that when shit hits the fan, I can take care of it without him even hearing about it. Usually it's errands, but stuff like this also falls in the job description. My military training should be more than enough to get us into the server mainframe without inside info. Oh! And once we're in, we can just clean this mess right up. Uh, while making another one. Uh... Well, I guess he's not really done anything for me to not trust him so far. He seems like a nice guy. All right. I'll trust you, Decker. That's the spirit. I knew you'd see it my way. We do this right and make that launch crash tomorrow, and Yannick will be able to buy out enough shares to get a seat back on the board. You can meet us at the entrance to the storm drains just south of the main parallax complex. We'll make our entry from there. I can work with that. Just give me a bit to pick up my gear. Don't you worry. Uh, this'll all be over soon. That sounds very... ominous. Well, whether we like it or not, we have his health now. Well, that's the last of the people I think we can recruit. Any more would be unwieldy, and we have a nice round set of skills to utilize. Let's head to Parallax now. I'll message Detective Rivers, and we can wait for Mr. Decker to catch up to us there. I'm calm. Tomcat should be done with their programming soon, and then we can head in. Is that everything? I hope so. We get one shot here. Oh boy. Ready? Ready or not, we gotta do it anyway.